Hello everyone and welcome to a new game you'll be starting today called Kingdoms and Castles. And we're just going to do the standard mode. And we're going to do a summoner, which is easy. We're on a large map and we're like an island. Yep. We're going to change. And find a good map. Now this probably wouldn't be that bad to start. We got some iron here. Some stone, a lot of trees, some good fertile land, a lot of fish. This would be okay too. Not that bad. None of these places are. We gotta see, do these places have a witch hunt? But I would like to get a witch. I'm not seeing a witch hut. Wait, I just saw it. Nope, not seeing a witch hut. It's like a brown spot. It's like a brown building. Yeah, I'm the island. Oh yeah, right here. Right here, they got a witch. Alright, I think I'm gonna make this place. And I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want the phoenix. Yeah, it looks cooler. Except. So you can start out by placing a keep. Once that's built, you can build other things. I'm gonna build some roads. Surround my keep. And I'm out of wood. So I can tell my people to chop down all these trees. Now they will go and chop down all those trees. You can also f fast forward. I like to put on the fastest speed to make things go a lot faster. And you have your advisors, like, you don't really need these people, like, they don't have much to say. If you're starting out, I suggest to listen to them, but they don't really have to. I don't really like to that much. And so this is what your people want. This is what your people need, actually. I will build them some homes. Now hovels are the only house I can afford because the rest of these cost stone and gold. Which I don't have yet. But you will need fish for later on. Right now in early game you don't really need fishes. the happiness. Now it's going down to 45 because my peasants are homeless. What else is fair? It's like early game, like most games, early game takes a while to get ready and everything. I build that one first. You can change job priority because right now builders are high priority and timber workers are second. And I just realized there's not there's not much good fertile land down here, so I'll have to expand out this way. In order to build some farms and stuff. Our kingdom attracted two new residents. That's good. It's two timber workers now. So this is what a lot of early games is like. Just waiting for things to be built so you can expand. Now this is uh, an empty cave. Eh. Like, you can't do anything with them. You can remove them, but you need a rock removal. Same thing for the unusable stone.
But I won't be able to get that for a while because I need tools and gold. Actually, get from an iron mine, which requires gold and stone. I actually get the tools from a blacksmith. Get the iron from an iron mine. I'm gonna build four houses. Yeah, four timber workers. down here. I should be able to build an orchard. Another thing for food, you should try to focus on getting multiple types of food. So I'm just focusing on one, like these orchards. Like they don't flood and they produce a lot of food. But you don't want your people to just eat apples. You want them to eat other things as well. I'm gonna place and one other thing. Always have your uh, food related jobs at the top because those will be your most important jobs. Don't want anyone timber working. Place timber workers right there. You can close stuff down. Something I don't really need. That one right now, I'm gonna close it. To free up some timber workers. And we did get three new people. Expand this way. I want it to look nice. Something about stones can only place two quarries on it. Same thing for the iron mine, you can only place two mines on them. Since I got plenty of people, I'm gonna open that back up. I'm gonna need more food. Get a few more hovels going. Those hovels to be built. Just have to build our new construction. Like this gives you a lot of helpful stuff. Like tells you when full plagues are and how many people you got. So do pay attention to this. Once I get that thing, I build some produce storages. That's what you use to store the apples that the orchards make. So this game is a medieval themed game as you can tell. And if you're looking for a good base building strategy game or medieval game, I suggest this one. This game is super fun. Quarry, but it's not really staffed, so. Uh, how are his quarry workers? Quarry workers are gonna be above stockpile workers. If these homes are built, I can get some more people. Uh, you always want this number down here. Total change from last year to be plus. If it's minus, then. Uh, you're gonna be losing food, and you you want to be constantly gaining food, so you have plenty of food to feed all your people. And you can't zoom in to the ground, and all these people have their own names and ages and stuff, so people can die of old age in this game, but that won't be for a while. Now we have a small village. I'm gonna rename this.
to this. Yeah, uh, food will produce... Like, the orchards will produce more food when they're on more fertile land. Like, it's on very fertile land. That's why it's producing more. Like, this one is not completely on fertile land, which is what these, well, this one is. That's why it's producing more than this one. That's just a helpful tip. And we have and I got quarry workers. So now I can build... That costs 15, so I can't. But I probably will... Want some farms. Now, I left this hole in the middle of these farms to place a windmill. I can't afford one right now until I get gold. But you, w but I would suggest using windmills for the farms. Because then they will actually produce more. I might uh, build a small stockpile here. Hopefully that's built sometime. Once so we get more people. Got enough room for eight more people. I would like my wood to produce wood up here. I'll put a forester up there and produce wood. Oh yeah, if you click this, this will show the status of all the homes that people live in. So this is what people want. They want charcoal and they want water. I really should place water. Like a well. Like, you want to have these walls, wells near buildings. Like, it helps in case of fire starting. Which, that does happen. Fires do start. And this is just close, how close it is to this, to the house, to the buildings. Like, it doesn't matter how far away they are, people will go there to get water. They can also get water from the ocean. See, the fire just started here. The colonists will see fire as a priority above all, which means they will try to put out the fire immediately. And look, we got five more people. Four more. I have four builders. Build my wells. That takes up three workers. And in order to actually claim these islands, then you build an outpost, which is this. Like, it's too expensive for me right now. You won't be doing it till later. You'll want a port. You want a dock if you do do that. If you decide to build an outpost, which docks can only be placed on land near the water or actually on this. Well, this kind of water, the shallower water, cannot be placed in deep water. Nothing can. Fire started, so I make sure to build wells. Yes, I did that. And I can now build a cottage. What I'm gonna do there is build the first. No, and I'm not gonna build it there. I'm gonna build, start building right there. And from all those trees that I chopped down, I got plenty of wood. Now cottages actually hold more people than hobbles. And they will pay higher taxes. Which is why you do want them. 
Not enough tax collectors. Yeah, in order to collect taxes, you need a treasure room, but that costs 50 wood, so maybe not yet. They're like, this is an infinite resource. With, with stone. I would like to build some granaries and storages. I think. Like, this game does have some pretty cool music, as you can tell. See, this this cottage has increased my number of beds to 50 by 12. If I built two houses, it would increase it by 10. Another thing that you wanted to do. Well, no advantage of it. Do want charcoal, so I might. Actually, I can't do it until I build a forester. That's right. It's an empty cave. Empty cave. Okay, that cave is not empty. Can I chop down those trees. Drag it across so it's not working. And have them all chop down those trees. So I, the people want charcoal, but I can't do that until we get a forester. Which is this person. Expand up that way first. Build another cottage. Since I have the space. I will we'll need some more beds soon. But it's only plus two this year. But that might increase because I have more storages. See this that one's already full, this one's almost full. Killed by wolves. So someone died to wolves. Yeah, and that's what they are. This is a wolf den. In order to deal with it, you need to have you need to build either a barracks or an archery school and have them attack the wolves. But I can't afford that yet. And you can't build near a wolf den. Like, this is the area of the wolf den that you can't build in. Like, the wolves won't go out that area, I don't think. Like, they won't come all the way down here and attack us. So you don't have to worry about that. Just be careful around the wolf den. reason why the forester is better than just chopping down trees is because they regrow the trees. So eventually, if we just continue to chop down trees, we'll run out. You want a forester so that they can actually replant the trees. So I'm waiting for this tree to chop down so I can build these roads.
will start to build our foresters. I will build another cottage. You want to build these people on the road so that they're happier? You don't have to, but it's good that you have. And they, oh, the peasants want a tavern. This also gives you reasons why the peasants are so upset. They want, they want a tavern so that I can build. So this just boosts happiness. That's all it does. I also, I don't have a stone, but I want to build town square. Hmm. How many builders do I have? I got nine builders, so I'll just leave that as like it is. They will need a lot of stone in the future. I, well, you might not, because you can build stone walls or wood blocks, wood castle blocks. I, I, I prefer stone. Stone's a lot better than wood. Because all you want to stock up on stone. Or just, just really increase stone production. That's already. Yeah, I'll keep that like this. See that boosted happiness. Now the fire started. Now what was I gonna build again? I was gonna build town square. Now this is good for getting people on. For getting oh, we're now on my cottages. You can rebuild it from the rubble. So this is good for getting people quickly because if you start a festival, people will also stay. But festivals do cost 50 gold each, and you can have as many town squares as you want, and you have as many festivals as you want. because they don't have any charcoal. Uh, how do you have charcoal? Has access no, I haven't built any charcoal makers yet. How does that guy have charcoal? I don't know, I think I think someone was messed up. I'm gonna build two charcoal makers. I think it just boosts happiness. And if you build a bakery, which is right, where's the bakery? Right here. If you build a bakery, it requires charcoal, but increase but doubles the amount of wheat you have. So you're gonna want a lot of them. this next but I think we will do that in the next episode so if you like what you see remember to like this video and subscribe now tell me what other content you would like to see on my channel and I will see you all in the next episode bye